Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and today we will learn how to create a process dashboard in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this process dashboard. Uh, I have month on month data for call, sales, revenue, conversion, EST and revenue per sale. Okay, so I have created uh, this dashboard here. I have displayed YTD numbers and this is a small bar chart uh, which is showing the trend month on month trend and uh, in the blue section I have displayed the quarterly data and here month on month data. So uh, this is the dynamic chart which is currently uh, connected with the calls. So if I will change this matrix, let's say sale, then both the chart will be changed accordingly. Now this uh, data points uh, for sales now. This is quarterly and this is month on month. Okay. And here I have uh, put one more thing, which is the chart type. You can change the chart type. Currently it is line chart. If you want to change it as a bar chart, you can click here. Now it has been changed into a bar chart. Again, we can change in line or in bar. So friends, one thing I would like to tell you, I haven't used any kind of macro or VBA to create this dashboard. Even I haven't used any image or picture. So whatever we have created in dashboard, we have taken from the Excel only. Okay, so let's start how we can create this beautiful dashboard. It can be useful for your presentations or, uh, you know, for your business or client dashboards. So I gonna be insert a new worksheet. First of all, I would like to show you the data points of this. So this is the data. This is simple data which we have used to create this dashboard and these are the support data here here and you can see the right okay so uh, this is the month wise here i have taken quarter also and the calls sales revenue and all six matrix okay friends so what i will do first of all i'll copy this data from here copy and will go to the new worksheet I'll add new worksheet and I will paste this data here. So we are creating this data sheet, right? So I'll give the name as data one because data sheet is already available here. And to create this dashboard, I will insert another sheet and I will give the name dashboard one okay and here we have data and here we will create this task so to creating this dashboard first of all i will insert uh, this rounded rectangle you can take from here also and we will drag a big size of rectangle like this and we can change the corner size also okay friend so now we will give this shape first to create this shape first of all i will change the uh, color for this background or uh, shape so i'll go to the right click and go to the shape for format shape and here I will fill a gradient fill here and from here I can choose a color let's say I'm choosing this one or you can take this one also so let's take this one or this one which I have used here okay this gray one So friends, now I will go to the view and I will remove the grid lines from here. Now I will insert a shape from rectangles and I will take this one which is a round shape. 
so i'll click on this and i will drag this shape here like that and i can change i will pick this yellow point and drag right similarly in the back side shape i will pick this point and keep here so we will match the radius same for both shape so that it will look like a single shape like that okay friend now we will insert a void art from here this one and you can rename this as process dashboard 2017 or you can give the name whatever you want to give resize it and just keep it here Okay friend now we will create this sections and first of all I'll give the gradient fill for this shape so I'll go to the format shape and from here I'll choose the gradient fill so I'll take this one the third one from here okay now I will create these shapes so to creating these shapes I'll go to the insert and I will insert a flow chart shape. I'll go to the flow chart and I'll select a where it is. So sorry, not flow chart. I'll go to the basic shapes. I'll select this one, which is we will. So I'll click here and click on the shape so now I have created this shape now I'll go to the format I'll fill the uh, this black color now I'll go to the shape effect and I'll go to the reflection I'll select this reflection now I will make six copy of it and I will keep all the shapes here together like that now we will arrange this so select all the shape go to the view sorry go to the format go to the align and first of all I will align it middle now I will distribute this shape horizontally select this one now all the shapes are equal now we will give the these numbers or a rect uh, sorry this small graphs here for that i will insert a text box from here and i will drag here so first is calls i will keep this here now i'll go to the format and uh, in format i'll remove the shape outline i'll save fill as no fill and text fill as white go to the home change the alignment like that now we can copy this and paste here and we can change the second matrix which is sales okay now copy this and paste here copy and paste paste and paste okay friend just uh, rename now revenue conversion revenue then this is conversion 
Let's now we have uh, created these box and we put these labels. Now we will put these numbers dynamically and uh, will connect from the data and these small graphs and the below chart. So we will learn these things in uh, the next part of this video. So please watch the next part of this video to complete this dashboard. Thank you so much for the watching.